Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Hogwarts Legacy. Today, we are going to be checking out everything near the clock tower and the hospital wing. Um, now, keep in mind, where my character is at right now, I am not able to access the hospital wing, or at least I haven't found it yet. So, uh, we're going to be exploring the what is considered in the game the south wing of the castle. Um, and right now, we have just left the dungeons from last episode and are going up the grand staircase... Now, as soon as we get to this landing, we'll be able to figure out better where we are. So, um, we need to, I think it'd be easiest to go out through the quad. So, let's go up into the Great Hall. We've already seen all this. There's Peeves juggling. Now, we're going to go back out of this courtyard here, and it does load. I have my game settings. Yeah, you can have your settings set to better game performance or better... Um, basically better world display. I have mine set to better world display, and that's why occasionally if you go through doors, um, you will have to wait for it to load just a brief second. Of course, you're playing on a PS5 or an Xbox Series S or X. Um, it's going to not take very long to load, which is very nice. And I'm going to collect this field guide page here. Now let's go through the quad here. And we're going to tuck as far to the left as we can. We want to be a part of this side of the building here. So straight above us is Gryffindor Tower, which we already explored in last episode. So we're going to try to find an entrance here around the quad that we haven't been in yet. Now, I mentioned in last episode there's not a lot of entrances to the quad. Um, so to start, we are just going to backtrack just a little bit. Uh, we were here in the last episode. This is what I called like Gryffindor Hall. Um, it's kind of like this this red and yellow seven-pointed star entrance chamber off of the suspension bridge. But we're going to take this door through the whale corridor. And of course, like I mentioned, this is already stuff we've already gone through. But then we're going to want this set of doors here that we have not crossed over. And now we go from uh, the quad area of the castle, that's Gryffindor Tower, and we're going into the clock tower. So the hospital wing is hidden somewhere right above us. And like I mentioned, I haven't found it yet or I do not have access to it yet. Um, so that is that, but we're looking out here. There you see the Hagrid's hut, or more specifically in this game, the gamekeeper's hut, because Hagrid hasn't been born yet. The Quidditch uh, pitch right beyond that. And then the Allery up on this mountain here. A lot of bridges in this game. This one is actually film accurate. Uh, the Black Lake is out that direction, but then we go straight into the clock tower here. Now, there's not a lot that I can explore in the clock tower because of where my character is at. Uh, there's a lot of locks that we haven't uh, been able to unlock yet. There is the timepiece, and I'm going to do Accio and try to capture that piece up there to collect more field guide pages. But this is the clock tower here, obviously the pendulum for the clock tower. And in order to get up there, we have to go through one of these doors. That one has a level one lock. This one has also a level one lock. This one is open, but we've already checked all of these chests. And this is a secret entrance to a society that my character has not grant, been granted access to quite yet. So it's going to smash shut on us. But we go out into the clockyard corridor. Obviously, this was introduced in the films in the third film with Alfonso Cuaron. Um, they basically added this. It's not a location from the books, uh, but they added this to kind of get that sense of time. Um, the third one is very much based around time, especially with the time turner at the end of the film. Uh, so in order to visually display that, Alfonso Cuaron created this location, um, which is the clock tower, in order to get that over visually with the audience. Not a lot of hidden stuff here. Um, I'm just going to cast a spell to check for hidden entrances on these plants, and there's nothing behind there. I don't even know if those are plants. They might just be moss on a rock. Just standard courtyard stuff, not a ton of detail in this side here. 
I'll do a full circle around before we go out across the wooden suspension bridge, or excuse me, the, the wooden covered bridge. Just circle around. This is, of course, in the fifth film where uh, Trelawney is fired by Umbridge. And still no secret entrance that we can find here. So going back out into the courtyard. You don't have the option to go in the well. But we can go across the covered walkway here. There is a live owl. I mentioned in a couple episodes ago, they do follow you around on occasion or just kind of hang out wherever they can. This is in the third film where Harry and Lupin have their conversation about the past um, and Harry living up to the expectations of his father. There's the White Tomb Island. And then this is about the point where Neville blows it up in the eighth film. This is where Hermione, of course, punches Draco in the face um, in the third film. A slight differential here, or, or just deviation from the way it looks in the films. Uh, in the third film, Hagrid's hut is at the bottom of this hill. Now, there are huts at the bottom of this hill, which you'll see here. Uh, they have nothing to do with the castle. Those are characters outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Hagrid's hut is actually more back towards the castle, and we will explore his stuff in a later episode. Uh, but let's just go here then and conclude this episode by reaching the Owlery. Now the Owlery is kind of a trek, so I'm going to hit my sprint button here. And we'll take a look around as soon as we get to the top of this hill. That is a statue. Most of these are stone owls leading to the Owlery. And there's a better picture of Hogwarts here from the south side. Um, there's a lake below, which is not there in the films. That is just a, a kind of a ravine that goes underneath the suspension bridge. There's the suspension bridge just where we came from. The clock tower, if you can see it through the grass. It's one of those perspective issues I've been talking about in this series um, with all of the towers behind it, the quad towers the Grand Staircase Tower back there, and then the Defense Against the Dark Arts and Astronomy Towers, the Transfiguration section, and the Bell Towers over there. Do some spells on these bad boys to collect them. My gear slots are full. That's too bad. Moving along, you can see at the bottom here, there's Hagrid's hut up close. You can't really see it with the colors because of the night sky, but he does have a couple different pens there. Um, there aren't really any animals as of now. I'm guessing those will change when I get to the Care of Magical Creatures section. Uh, and then beyond that, there's a, kind of a field where you do flying lessons. You can collect a whole bunch of plants and rocks for various potions. But moving our way up into the Allery then, like I said, it is a bit of a hike. Just more of those stunning visuals from the castle design. And we move up here, I'll collect more of these rock, whatever they're wanting to call them, the moonstones. Return to Professor Weasley. And then finally, we're at the Allery. So, of course, in the films, this is where uh, Harry sends letters to Sirius. But more importantly, he asks Cho Chang out to the Yule Ball. And she rejects him because he asks, Will you go evolve me? Uh, and she has no idea what, she's say or what he's saying there. Uh, you'll see owls perching there on some of these. But you go all the way up to the top. And then you reach kind of the main owl spot where you have a ton of owls here you can't really interact with them you do have your owl hanging out uh, in your common room which we pointed out in our first episode but you crawl up here and you kind of get a better view of everything there is a better view of the quidditch pitch will which we will explore in a later episode more owls here what is that that i was just looking at we're going to switch our spells just so we can capture one of these 
checkpoints or rather Easter eggs. And then you get one of those field pieces and we collect it. Another view of the castle. Uh, this is very much accurate or, or kind of a visual that you'd see in the first two films, the Chris Columbus films. And of course, like I mentioned, there's the transfiguration area over there. There is this huge garden behind the, the bell towers, which I think is a welcome inclusion. I mentioned earlier in this series that there are a lot more gardens than are shown in the films, especially the film model has a lot of just kind of drop off rock points. Um, here they've expanded those and given like garden space to that, which is a welcome inclusion in my opinion. So with that being said, uh, we'll just do a full circle around the alley here, or at least the top of it. And we are going to call this episode complete. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you back here, hopefully within the next week, uh, to explore part four, where we're moving back more towards uh, the Defense Against the Dark Arts area, the Transfiguration area, and the library. So we will see you very, very soon.